Sneaker fan, what's going on? It's your boy Jake back with another video review and this will be my final, final UNC4 video. I purchased an updated pair due to the minimal complaints I got of me getting the wrong shoe, the shoes the wrong color and all that kind of stuff. And I said I wasn't going to do it, but I did it anyway. Um, just to show you guys that, hey, man, I'm putting my money where my mouth is and I'm not, you know, like most of the keyboard warriors that just... That's what they are, just keyboard warriors. So yes, I picked up another pair from another site, another batch, whatever the heck y'all want to call it. And so let's get on with it. First of all, they, they're both size 12s, same box as the other pair. And like I said, it was all it's going to be is the same exact shoe, but just the different color, you know? But people still decided to complain. So here we go. Let's get on with it. So... You can tell, you can still see the differences between the two shoes, even the waffle eyelids, the material under the tongue. This is the fake pair. This is the retail pair. You can see the, uh, the material difference, even the shade of blue on the laces, the shade of blue on the shoe itself. Look at the toe cap. Look at the front. Once again, the stars, you can see the suede material is different. The cut line here, that opening here, take a look at the tongue. I think I think it was embroidered better than the other pair. When you look at the flight, it still looks a bit off. The flight here looks a whole lot clearer. Once again, it has the curve on the toe box, mud guard where the retail, the fake pair does not have that it just goes that straight slant down it does not curve in air unit soft and plush it's not as divoted up it's pretty clear here this one isn't as bad either so not bad we can see the speckled splats Like I said, it varied from shoe to shoe. So that's nothing to go by telling what's real and what's fake. Uh, we got something here. I guess when they was doing production. So we'll take a look at the fake pair. This is the retail pair. Take a look at the back. The cut. It's a little higher on the, fake, on the retail pair. The fake pair is cut a little bit lower. You can see that the under the shoe, you can tell like they usually make fours smaller always so you can see it here though it's a size 12 look at it always whether it's h12 whether it's P pk whether it's this that they're always going to use that same mold it doesn't it doesn't really matter they're going to get the materials from a certain place and then they'll usually you know just assemble it I think what everybody wanted to know besides that is the insole with the AJ11, right? It had to be the pronounced AJ11. So it had to come out real nice and clear. You see that on the fakes? It's the pronounced Jordan 11. I know a lot of people weren't clear about it. It has to come out extra, extra clear like that. When you see that, you know you got a fake. Point blank, you have a fake. I have two retail pairs. And one had AJ3, the other one had AJ11, and it wasn't clear. You can barely see it. You can barely see the AJ3 on this one. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. And the insole, there it is. Fake is at the bottom, real is at the top. You cannot see any print here, barely. The fake ones, you will always see that a any fake, I'm telling you now, is going to have that pronounced AJ11 on it. Trying to help you guys out here. Production dates, you're not going to have to worry about. But I will read it anyway, only on the fake pair. I'm four minutes in, I'm trying to get this quick. On the fake pair, here we go. And yes, it is, this one's a lot better than the one I had. I will not lie. 
So, 82620 to 112420. So, see if we can get that look in there if I can. So, I'm going to read that off. Like I said, it's going to be a real, real brief video. Die cut sock liner, molded sock liner. That's pretty clear. I'm going to. And they did. They fixed it up. I mean, the colors are right. Not colors. I mean, the colors are better. And if someone had this on their foot, uh, no one would tell. They would say, yeah, well, shoes, you got a fire. You get compliments, this and that. But let it be known that is not the reason for my videos. Videos are to make sure you are getting a retail pair and you're not getting this pair paying $350 to $400 for it when someone paid with an excess of $100 to $150 for this shoe and then they try to make $150 to $200 profit on you. That's why I do these videos. So now I'm gonna weigh them, I'm gonna blacklight them, and I'm gonna call it a day. Like I said, it's gonna be a quick, quick, quick video. So. I'm sticking to it. Let's bring out the trusty weight scale here. Make sure it's zeroed in. This is the right shoe. Uh-oh, it's not zeroed in here. All right, let's go. Boom. Right shoe with the shoe tree in it. One pound, basically seven ounces. It's 6.9 ounces. Retail. Let's do that again because she was in the way. One pound, 6.7 ounces. So we got the smaller shoe a bit heavier. We're gonna go left shoe retail with the shoe tree in it. One pound, 7.3 ounces. And then we're gonna go with this one. Left shoe, fake. One pound, 7.2 ounces. And this is, this is shoe tree in it. And this shoe is smaller than the retail pair. And now we're gonna bring out the trusty old black light. And let's see what has changed on these shoes. All right, we got the retail pair here. The tab glowing. That's it, just this label glowing in here. We have some residue right here inside. We have this is blue glowing. There's no pen marks nowhere, like dashes and all that kind of stuff. Let's take a look at this one where you can see it already. There's the dash marks right there, lining it up. See the dash marks right here dash marks lining it up more marks here there's your dash marks again where they line it up making sure it's all lined up properly there's your dash marks right here more dash marks again here with the pin uh, I'm gonna take a look under it to see if there's another like a factory stamp on it. There's a nice little stain here. Let's take a look at this one. This one has no dash marks there. This one's a lot cleaner, but there you see it here. And then there, here it is again. It's pretty common what you'll find on them. And uh, not much. Let me see if there's a particular factory stamp. There's another mark there again. I'm not sure if that's their way of saying. Now let's see if there's a factory stamp here. We can find it, put the black light on it. 
Anything here? Nope, nothing here. But, and uh, this one came with this. So it's usually a particular factory, third party factory that usually includes that on it. And I put in my disclaimer, as a standalone shoe, this is fine. If you missed out on this one and you're not gonna pay resale on it, if this is what suits you, that is fine with me. Like I said, that's not the reason for my video and it's not for calling people out or running up to somebody's foot with a black light. Oh man, you got fake shoes, look at all the dash marks and all that kind of stuff. That's that adolescent stuff. I'm not here for that. I'm here to protect your pocket. I'm here to help the sneaker community. It's all I'm here for. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy Jake signing out with this final UNC4 video. It's time to move on. Hey, guys, enjoy your Sunday. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in sunny South Florida. It's your boy Jake signing out. Peace.